Melanie Fonseil, and I'm a taste master. I spent a lot of my time as a kid on a, on a game farm. My, my uncle owned a game farm. And like, from a young age, man, I was just, I was wild. I was like running around. If you look for me, I was sitting in, in the chicken coop with the chickens. My granny, owned, she, she had two bush pigs that she reared from, from small. And these things grew up to be huge. And I would like sit on them and ride around on them. And, um, but sure, that lifestyle was just, just, it was like, I still have sort of nostalgia when I think about it, you know. My dad uh, has been a, a mental worker for as long as I can remember. And he, he I think his, one of his dreams was to always get me into doing what I'm doing, you know. And he's always wanted me to, to sort of take over, you know. And I was fighting against it. That's also my, like, rebellion side. I don't want to be in the corporate thing, I don't want to have to answer to nobody, you know, and I just sort of, st I didn't want to do it, and I, and I shied away from it for a long time. I was, I was working as a waitress, I was overseas, traveling, um, yeah, and then I just, one day I was like, you know what, I have the skill. I can use this anywhere and it actually started from waitering. I was working for Madame Zingara and, and they knew that this is something I can do and they were like, okay, cool, well, I've got this thing that, that can, you, can you sort of make it for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. I made it for them and I just felt that it felt so amazing to be able to make something and, and then I'm, you know, like, it, it came from my head, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't from, the boss that gave me a drawing, you know, it was, they came to me for my creative uh, input. And how do I see what I see? Uh, it's like, it comes from, it comes from a feeling, it comes from visual, sort of the whole, the setting that this thing has to be in at the end of the day. Um, it's, it's such a big process and a big picture. It's like, there's no, there's no sort of one thing uh, that can make you say, okay, this is why I'm doing it. You know? This is the thing also with, with the materials, you get, you get used to, to your medium um, and you know what you, you are capable of doing with that medium, what the medium is capable of doing for you. So I can look at a piece of steel or whatever and I can see all the possibilities of what that thing is capable of doing. Uh, and more, because I'm always pushing the boundaries. In my line of work, it's mostly male dominated. Uh, and I used to work in the film industry. Um, and through there, I actually met quite a few women that do this. Um, very beautiful feminine women that do the work I do. So I guess you could call me an entrepreneur. Uh, I just, I'm terrible at, at marketing myself. That's something I've, that's never been my strong point. I would be so unhappy if I couldn't be hands on, if I couldn't be there physically doing the work. I mean, sure, one day I'll probably expand and I'll get bigger and whatever, and then I'm gonna have to be more the face of the business than, than actually being involved. But I hope that I could forever get my hands done. More and more I see people are actually starting to pick up on the creative process um, and they are, they actually want the story behind the piece as well. Um, I think there's a lot of people that are, that are making it nowadays because people are interested in what, what they're doing, you know, be it in the food industry, be it in construction, the work I do, design, business, whatever. Um, people are, are becoming more and more curious about how a thing is done or made. My name is Melanie Fonseil and I'm a tastemaker. <laughs>